all telling stories. You know, we're not out there to tell every, we're not making Wikipedia pages on our subjects. We're out there to tell a story about a subject that we care passionately about. And of right. course, there are going to be many ellipses in this story because we have 100 minutes and we're yeah. trying to entertain. And I think this idea of the full truth is like, is kind of something that, that kind of comes back to us all, a lot, but is never asked, again, like of a, of a fiction film or, you know, about, about its politics. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a misunderstanding of the genre, I think, actually. Right. I've always thought that I was shaking people up, but now I want to go at it more and I want to go at it more deliberately and I want to go at it coldly. I want, I want to shake people up so bad that when they leave a nightclub where I performed, I, I just want them to be to pieces. Another issue that's very big at the moment within mainstream Hollywood is the lack of diversity and the lack of women filmmakers. I mean, documentaries seem to be one area where there's some kind of parity between absolutely, men and women. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we're very why, proud why, of our, our documentary why, why is, Yeah, yeah. We, we have, why is that? The cynical. I mean, no. The cynical the explanation cynical, is the yeah. bar. That they're lower budgets overall, right. and lower so that's budgets, the, so it's, pay. it's being opened to women, and yeah. we work for four years for one fee. That's right. not enough to live for four right. years. And so, we're not I mean, financing within the studio. It's we're doing. So it's great, but it's actually I don't think this, the, the the roots of the structure are right. are the. So right. it's a reflection of misogyny, is what you're saying. Slightly. Yeah, I'm just saying, saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that, that the budgets are lower, mm -hmm. we're right. paid no, less, yeah, and absolutely. therefore, yeah. you know, and it's and it's true in independent film. We all know it. Like if you right. you're a female filmmaker and you right. launched your first indie mm -hmm. film at Sundance versus that mm -hmm. male filmmaker in two years he's making a studio movie. It takes her 11 years to get her next film made. Right. I made up those numbers. Don't quote right. me, but that's yeah, the yeah, yeah. experience. And then ours is of course more 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 open to women, but the budgets right. are much lower. Uh, one of my first films was The Farm Angola, USA, and it, I think, I'm sure we all relate to this, but when you go into a world that's very different from your own, sometimes you're very surprised by the rules and the laws and the norms, right, that you find. And we were shooting this parole board hearing of a man named Vincent Simmons who was accused of rape. Or, well, not just accused, he was, he was on his 16th year of a life sentence. And he goes before the parole board. Their job is not to adjudicate innocence. Their job is to see is he reformed enough to, to leave the prison, which actually never happens. But in this case, he presented this exculpatory evidence of innocence, um, stuff that had never been shown at trial. And he walks, and it's this pa powerful, powerful moment where you know he's seen in the lineup. He's the only guy in the hand in the lineup who has handcuffs on his wrists, and that's where he's identified by the. Uh, victims of the crime. He leaves the room. The men at the parole board hearing all ch chat with each other very quickly. They say, mm. well, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then they start saying things like, well, all black people look alike, and this is da-da-da. And they say these things, and we're shooting it, and we think, they're going to kick us out of here. Like, we are not going to be able to put this on. They're going to not sign the releases. We're not going to get it. And then they come back in. They deny yeah. his parole, and they sort of high-five each other. And we're thinking, how is this going to work? And then afterwards, they're like, that was so fun. Let's make a TV series together. We can call it the parole board. <laughs> Thank you.